Alright guys, so to get this started, we're gonna come in here and place some foundations down. Trying to get our height exactly how we want it. Now you don't want to place the foundation too far into the ground, like so, because it's going to be hard to bring the stacking in, so you have to come up probably like one notch more. And then we're going to turn it like that. And as you can see to the left, I'm trying to leave a little bit of a gap on that side so we can bring the stacking in. So if we go something like that, we might need to crawl in here. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to crawl in here because it will just get stuck here. But that's not too bad, so I'm going to go with that. And we're going to make sure that this is all the way up, which it is. And we're going to come out here now to start our stacking. We're going to put some fence foundations down here. And now with this, you need to make sure you always snap to the top of these foundations. There's no point in this um, tutorial that I go underneath. And if I do, I'll let you know. But I'm always trying to snap to the top. So we'll snap one there and we'll snap one back there as well. And then we'll come out over here. And that's where we're going to make our fence foundation stacking over there. So we're going to delete these guys here. And then we're going to get our triangle pieces out. Just put that there, and then we're going to put the fence foundations on that and bring that guy out. Perfect. Now I am stacking this way for a reason. Uh, you can copy this way a lot easier you can the other way. And what I mean of the other way, I mean like uh, this guy here. So if you're thinking of this way, Try and avoid doing it this way because you can't, especially big spots or small spots, it really comes into its own on this one. Yes, yeah, try not to do that. So there you have your stacking just there. Try not to do it this way, do it the way I'm doing it right now. And there is a reason for that, because that, when you do it like that, it's too close. And when you try and copy it through the cave on the side here, it just doesn't go because it's too close, it interferes with each other. This one's got a bit more of a gap, as you can see there, these bits are not touching. Over here, these bits are touching, so they are together just that little bit more. And that stops you from doing a lot of things. It is a lot easier stacking that way, but um, certain certain times that it's better to go that way but yeah we're gonna go this way for now so from that um, I lost where I am that's it we're just gonna put some foundations down and then we're gonna continue along here there we go now we're gonna come back There we go. And now you want to continue this back out with foundations. So this one here, we're going to copy this. And we're going to place it in between these guys, as you can see there. There we go. And now we're going to do that once more. And we should have our stacking. Uh, pretty easy there is a tutorial that I've done before which kind of show you guys a little bit more in depth but you know the basics that is it already just in this one I've shown you how to stack twice so that is pretty much all we are gonna need right there I always copy at those two foundation widths and it just makes it easier to make this but all we really need is a foundation width so it's probably from this one on that's all we really need. So we are going to put our fence foundations in the middle here, as you can see. Put them in the middle and on the edge there. Then we're going to delete these pillars here, all those foundations. Just get rid of those guys. And now, because we just did that off of this fence foundation, so we're going to delete that. And now we're going to copy it off this foundation. This is where I'm saying copy because uh, it's exactly what we're doing. We're copying this piece along here. So we're gonna put one there, I think. And let's see if the stacking will work just here. So we're gonna put one up there, put one there, and then we should be able to put one on the ground here. 
that is too too low as you can see it's not lining up there so I'm gonna have to delete these guys and when I put it on this foundation I'm gonna have to make sure I go right up which is actually hard to see how high this is so I'm just gonna go higher than it looks and there we go so that is perfect we'll get rid of that guy we'll get rid of this one and we'll get rid of that one beautiful wait until all this rubble disappears Come on. All right, there we go now we're going to do the same here so you can see that that's the low one that's the high one we're going to go with the high one I'm going to bend down here so I can actually see what I'm doing so right there then underneath that is perfect there now we're going to delete this guy I'm out here, wait till the rubble disappears once again. It'd be good if there was a way to actually speed that rubble up from disappearing. Maybe just turn it off for when I'm building. Alright, so that is pretty much stacked through. We just need to put one more here. Right there, we might not use this one, we probably won't, but we're just going to put it there anyway to keep it. Alright, now we're going to delete these guys, and now we're going to check or pick the next one. So we're going to delete this guy, foundation, and now we're going to copy this one through as well. There we go, that's perfect. Alright, so now we're back inside. Uh, let's try and get this guy on this foundation here, which it's not snapping to. So what I'll do at this point is grab another foundation and come over with it. So now it's over, and then try and put the fence foundation onto this guy which it's going I can't see the top to see if it's up or down so I'm just going to look up and then we're going to put that down under there perfect get rid of these foundations because that one's done wait until this rubble disappears crazy amount of rubble with these pieces Alright, so now we are up to this guy here, so we're going to try and put a fence foundation there, which worked, no problem. And now one there, and now one underneath. Which, that looks like it's trying to go a long ways to me. Yep, it did. So, we're going to delete. Oh, wait a second. Up to this rubble go so we can actually see where we're at. Because I think it's not working right down there. Then again, that does look right. Alright, no, that, that did the job. Alright, so now let's delete this guy. The foundation underneath as well. And now we're just going to copy this one over, which we probably won't use this one again. But if we need it, it's there. Alright, so now we're going to delete this guy, come over here, delete one more, and then this should be the last one we need to carry through the cave. So here we go. I'm not too sure if I want this end one here or not, but we'll find out. So let's go with this guy here. Obviously that's low, that's high. And we want to go there and then underneath. Perfect. Get rid of this stuff. Wait till this rubble's gone once again. But we're nearly finished this stacking, so we should be nearly done very soon. We just need to put one in the middle there. That's it there. Right there and then underneath. Alright, so that is pretty much done. Let's clean this up a bit. Obviously, most of this you'll do in sandstone, except for the ones I'm standing on, because they're the only ones we're keeping. But the rest of it, yeah, I'll just use sandstone for this. Because I'm in admin mode, I don't need to. Alright, so that is pretty much it. As you can see, it is stacked, and it looks like I forgot this one here. So we're going to bring that back out because we can't have that alright so that's going to be up there, we're going to get the 7 go there 
not even too sure if we're going to be using this one. Oh, this might be the front door. We'll grab it anyway. It doesn't look like that's copying properly, so we're going to chuck a foundation in there. Then fence stack on that side. Right there, and then underneath, right there. And let's have a look at that, see if that did the job. Just wait for that rubble to disappear. And we are looking good. Alright, so we are stacked in there. So now we're going to take these guys out. Remember, you don't have to stack this spot if you don't want to, but I suggest I suggest doing it anyway. Alright, so now we need to pick uh, where our door is going to go. So let's go in here and grab our door. So how far in do we want this door? I'm thinking that's pretty good. We can still walk through it, which is um, even better. So let's start with this side here. Now you're not really going to be hiding this door, this door is going to be here either way so you could even just continue this out a lot more and we get to this point we need a duck which is fine that is not too bad whatsoever yeah I think that's just a little too far so we'll get rid of that guy now we can get rid of this. the rest of this stuff here just punch that to bits. I think I did. But let's get rid of this stacking out the front here. We do not need this anymore. Unless you guys want to go crazy with your defenses and just have it stacked to the days outside of here as well. Which you can do. That is no problem. But I think something with this, like a small entrance as this. The repair hammer is so OP. Don't underestimate a repair hammer. Yeah, this dance move. Because a repair hammer, if someone's sitting in there with a repair hammer and you're trying to blow up, it's crazy strong, like you just can't do nothing. And they'll just sit in there and repair one foundation and that is it. So that's what I'll suggest to you guys to do with this one. It's in the game, you might as well use it. So if we have a look up here, it looks like we are pretty close to there. But just trying to see if I can... Um, Put a foundation in up there, which doesn't seem happy about, but we got one anyway. So there we go. That will just make the top look a little bit bigger. No one's getting in there anyway, but it just kind of cleans up the the stacking on the top. And wait for this rubble to go. So that does look a lot better. So let's just uh, clean this up a little bit more here. There we go. There we go. As I said, we're not trying to fool anyone. Alright, so we are in here now. This is our little area to get in. Uh, obviously, we need to stack down the side here. But that's easy enough. Let's go in this way. Looks like we might need to get rid of the doors to actually stack this properly, so let's do that. Yeah, that's weird, isn't it? It's like um, I can delete it and it won't do anything, and then I punch it and it breaks. <laughs> that's pretty cool. I like that. Let's get out of this stance. Something a bit different. <laughs> that's great all right so let's get this stacking going um so what do we got here we've got one in there so what we might need to do here is stack in the middle here and then go over to the side if i can get down there properly there we go Try and get that one in the middle. No one's squeezing down the side of this anyway, so let's face it, but 
I still like to make it nice and clean. Alright, this one looks like she's struggling a little bit here. Did see that's a close one. Alright, so it doesn't look like it's gonna let me stack in that one, but that's fine. We don't need it. So we'll go to that guy, go here. Maybe I can even go along the bottom here, I can try to anyway. Now can we go underneath? Nope. But that's alright. Let's go there and then over. And now when I delete these, hopefully the side stacking doesn't go down as well. But we'll find out. Because it should be embedded into that wall enough. Uh, but yeah, no, we're good. So we're just going to delete all these guys. It's hard to see what I'm doing with all this rubble, I'll tell you, but we're just going to wing it and go out this way. <laughs> Let that settle. Alright, so it's pretty much stacked on the side, except for that one that was um, driving us a bit mad. Let's try again with something here. Gonna drive me mad like that. You don't need this spot fixed, but well, I would like it to be fixed. Maybe we can try something here. Um, there has to be a way. Let's try a wall. You never know, walls um, do different things as well. So I'll we'll try a wall here. Oh, she's not happy with me. Yeah, it looks like we're not going to get it in there for now. Which is um, kind of driving me a bit mad, but that's alright. It's not the end of the world. As I said, no one's actually going to squeeze through there anyway. So let's start putting these doors back. I think that first one was one too many. Alright, so that is my doors. Alright, so from here, let's um, see what this foundation is going to do here because um, I do want to come in here and make it a little bit easier. So I'm even thinking maybe just staircase here. Just like so. Yeah, that, that's a bit easier. Still have to crawl back quite nice there and yes we have definitely one out too far let's punch that up again that's really satisfying I don't know why but that's great alright so let's make sure we can put um, fence foundations up here as well should be flipping them over so it looks like that just looks a little bit more fancy That one's too far down, it looks like. There you go. Yeah, we take that guy up. And put that one back in. 
But yeah, I think that looks pretty good on the outside. Like, um, yeah, you can always build it right out here. But I don't think there is any need for that, especially with the repair hammer. I'm hoping they kind of fix that repair hammer, but if they don't, I'm going to use it. So here we go here. Uh, we kind of want to copy this through. Obviously, most of this will be deleted. Uh, with that, we're going to make a little floor down the bottom here. There we go. And now we're going to come up this way. And now we're in our little quarters. There is a guy on the floor here. Uh, it allows me to build here, so we're just going to go with it anyway. And we're going to destroy this box here. Get the free beer, has to go. There it goes. This book really isn't anything, so I'm not too worried about that. Let's grab that guy. Alright, so let's grab our foundations and bring them up here. See what we're working with. Now that is way too high. So we're going to come down with our fence foundation. And we're going to start lowering this guy. So as you can see here, we are coming down. That's probably the level that we need. Maybe go down again. Let's try it. That actually feels a little bit better. Say goodbye to that dead body. Like, um, he might smell at the place a little bit, but I'm sure he'll be right. So let's get rid of these higher level foundations. We don't need them anymore. And wait for this rubble to go. Other thing about connecting all the foundations together, even if I have to hire it and lower it, I still like connecting them together. So from here we are going to uh, go this guy, get rid of that rubble there and I want to see how we're going to put our hatch door in because we are going to have a hatch door here so I think that would be cool and I'm thinking right there is perfect so I'm happy with that so let's delete some more foundations underneath. Let's, pack, let's go down and clean up this um, underwater bit. Because again, most of these foundations are just there for lining everything up. They don't need to be here. Like so. Get rid of these guys. Alright, so I think we're pretty much good there. Cleaned everything up. We've got the bottom here. I've taken one too many out, so let's cover that back up there. Perfect. And let's build some around here. And let's see if we can still squeeze through this little hole here, which we can. That uh, is a little hole, but it's little enough for us to get through. So that is fine. Now there is a bit of room in here, as you can see the headway I'm getting. Uh, so let's try and see what the next level looks like. Let's just start with this guy. And obviously that is way too high. So what we're going to try and do, get a foundation here get a fence foundation and we're going to start lowering this up again doesn't look like it wants to run off that one so let's go a bit closer here right there I'll try and wait for this rubble so you guys can see what's actually happening because I'm kind of impatient, I'll have just kept going. Alright, so now let's get rid of this guy. And now we'll drop down a level by doing that. We'll leave it or not. And now let's go on to this guy again. We're going to delete this fence foundation. And we're going to lower it again. 
And then we're going to delete this guy and lower that down. So as you can see now, it's about head height is where we're at at the moment. So let's try duck down, put that there. Can we stand up? No, we can't stand up under that. It is just a little bit too low and we can't really get up there anyway. All right, so we're not going to worry about that. I think we're pushing our limits here. We're just going to have to have a one story. Let's wait for this rubble to disappear on us again. Cover that body up. And I think that's going to have to be it, guys. Like, um, this is going to be our living quarters. I know it's not much, but that's what it's going to be. So let's come down here and see what we can do about this hole here. So if we come over here, I'm going to put some more foundations down. And then let's try and put another hatch door right there. And let's try with the actual doors and see if um, see if they work. See if I can fit. Which I cannot fit in there. Which is no good thing. So we're going to have to delete that guy. There we go, so we can still get up there. That's fine. Now let's try it with the hatch door again. I'm going to have to zoom in so we can see what we're doing. Alright, so we are down here and we're at this point here. Let's get rid of this guy. Let's get rid of these two here and bring the hatches into play because I'm going to be using these a little bit more trying to work out where they're going to go so let's try right here with a door on it should be able to get through and then should be able to get through now hatch doors are notoriously janky so it's going to be interesting how this plays out but it looks like we are good uh, let's try and get these guys up it's not going to let me go up so I'm going to put one there and then put one on top of it that seems to do the job and then you can delete these guys if necessary and the top ones will stay don't know why it works like that but it does uh, let's get some more air up here. So let's put the hatch door up here as well. So there we go. I'm going to go with a hatch door there. It's hard to actually see where the hinges are on these doors. But that will do for us. Alright, so we're going to come down here, we're going to swim down, we are going to swim down, surely we're going to swim down. Nope, we're not going to swim down. So let's try this guy over here. No, it's not going to let us go down either, will it? Well, that's what we're going to have to do, is just put a ceiling piece on top of this guy. Right there, one over there too, makes it look a bit more legit. And there we go, we can come down and we're into this space here. So from here, let's try, let's try another janky door. Now it's going to be hard getting through these doors, I know, but um, the more the better, the more it will just take them longer to get through. Alright, so that's going to be it, it looks like. So we have a hatch door here, which we jump into. Then we come over here, we got another hatch door, which we open up and then come through. And there is another hatch door here, but it's already open for us, so we get through. And, and that's going to be the main spot here. 
So it looks like we won't be able to put many benches here. Alright guys, so that's going to be um, the entrance to this bit here. So let's um, make sure we've got a piece on here. Now you're going to open up, that should be right. And then we've got one here as well, so there's a double entrance here. Then we've got like a little swimming area here. And we come up here, there's another hatch door. And then we come up and we are in the main bit here. Then we just duck and we come out and we are here. So let's clean this bit up outside here. And now what we're going to do is have a little house out the front here for all our workbenches and all that. And then like a little hidey hole at the back so we can get into our storage which is going to be down that little cave. So how we're going to do that is um, we're just going to come out here with some foundations. Uh, let's grab this level. There we go, that's perfect level. Let's come out. Let's delete this guy. Have a look what's going on here. I think there is a fence foundation that's um, sticking out of the ground, the stacking that we didn't use. Yep, just that one there. Now we should be able to put a foundation just there. Alright, so then we've got this opening here, which looks pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. That should be big enough for what we want. Let's go one more that way. And yeah, I think that's pretty good. So when we're going to come out here, we're going to come, um, we're just going to go normal. Like We're not going to go anything crazy. So let's get our walls around here because this is just going to be the bits where we um, put our benches and all the other stuff that we're going to need so let's get our wall here and let's come along here now we want the door semi in the middle so we're going to take this guy out Yeah, okay, one more. Where's that wall? There we go. Alright, so we've got a wall there, we've got a door, we've got a door there. And that's going to be good right there. Let's get some more walls out. Yeah, we're going to go up two stories here. Because that's going to give us plenty of room to do whatever we want. Uh, we've got the ceiling pieces going. Yeah, I want to make him kind of think that they've broken into the place and um, they've got everything that you have. So you don't want to make it too hard for them because then they're just going to blow your shit to like more smithereens. So you go like a nice um, in between. Alright, so we're going to have a second level over here. Like so. And we can have some nice stairs leading up there. Looks a bit more fancy. Let me stairs out, there we go. Nice. Alright, so that's going to be the main area. Uh, let's see what we can um, do over here as well. Just like that. And then over in this corner at the back here, we're going to go bang. And obviously that just looks like it's holding up the side here, it's not doing anything crazy. We're going to take this one out and I'm going to put another foundation there too so it kind of looks like we'll just put foundations around the side. But as you can see there, that doesn't seem anything weird or suspicious about that. And it's just going to be another section there, so that's exactly what we want. Uh, we want to go over there one more as well. Uh, we can run through here easy enough. This bit is going to have to be covered, so let's get the wall out and put another wall in there, like so. And let's put some anti climb just to make it look a bit more fancy. There we go. And we can still get around, no problem, so that's good. 
All right, now let's get outside here and let's make it like a little sun area greenhouse because we've got these windows and we do PVP all the time so we don't use windows much but it's going to be really nice to have these windows going at some point so let's try and use these guys making it look all nice and fancy here No, we're not going to go there, we're going to put foundations down there. Because that does look pretty nice with these windows. I haven't used many mods, but um, there's a lot of windows in mods, but I do really like these guys. They look quite nice. Let's have that nice and open like that and um, get some stairs involved here. And stairs, it's not stairs. That's a ramp. Oh, I've lost the stairs. Oh, right in front of me, of course. Alright, so we're going to go like that. And what have we got for the sides here? Sure, there'll be something. Got these guys. No, that's not the angle I'm looking for. Just want a corner piece. It's going to have to be these guys, isn't it? Put a wall there, it looks like. And then we're going to come down and do the same here. Alright, there we go. So now we have a nice looking place as well, which is pretty cool. First time using this glass, which I don't mind it. You can't really see inside either, so that you kind of can, but you can't. So, yeah, I like that. Appreciate that. Why not? That is pretty cool. And it's like a little foyer for people to come and enjoy the sun as well, it looks like. So maybe we could have some like little benches out here so we can sit back and just have a look at the the pirate ships all crushed up. So yeah, no, that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. So all I'm going to do now, guys, is come around and just fill these guys out with um, all benches and everything else that you need in this little middle bit here. And then we have this guy here, which we can um, do and replace as many times as we want. So yeah, I'm quite excited about this one. It's pretty cool. So stick around if you want to see me put the benches down. But other than that, we're pretty much done here. And I'm Z Freeze Zone. I'll catch you guys on the next build. Don't forget the Discord and the Facebook page. Other than that, catches.